AEG and Sunny now looks like he's gonna get up to about 101 by late afternoon in Laos, in Louis V and 103 in E Town. Not a cloud inside, so get out those parasols. Haha. <laughs> Make sure accident just ahead of the bus tower exit. So if you are ahead to work on 31, you are late, my friend. <laughs> Sugar? As it is. That's what Ira used to say. I had a dream about him last night. I heard you yelling bad dreams. We were up on the roof. Ira and I, Ira and I, and Charlie eating a light super. I was drinking sweet tea, Charlie was reading. We were surrounded by other houses, closely packed, huge sidewalks. It must have been, um, what's that word? A city? That's it, I'm sure. Below us, a group of people were gathering, standing wildly. A man was reading from a book. I asked Ira about the weather. Would it rain on Tuesday or when, or when would the sun set? Something like that. He wouldn't answer me. Charlie stood up and Ira told him to watch his step and then I remember. I woke up before I could stop him. I always told him to test each tie with a heel first. If it's a heel, you can kick it back and still put your toe on something solid when the tide slips. I remember your lessons. He just wanted to study his, what was it called? Astronomy. That's it. How could I forget? It's, it wasn't his fault. It wasn't anyone's fault, Conway. That's what we mean when we say it's an accident. Sure. Well, we have a mail order delivery today. Might be a long drive. I hope the truck can hold up. Long drive? What makes you think so? They said they couldn't come in person. Maybe just a sudden. I don't recognize their address. The order is all. I'm sure we can feel it. Yes, that'll be the last. I guess it will be. The last act, the last act of Lisa's antics. <laughs> the. Oh, what's the word? For now. Maybe. No, that's not the word. I just need to think a bit. More coffee or something? Or I have too much? It'll come to you. Maybe I'm not sure anymore. It seems inevitable there will start to be words that I lose forever. What are those bosses you say in the hallway? Those are Charlie's old boss. Old boots. Oh. I thought you might like to look at them. I'll take them with me. Thank you. Cora should be here soon. Will you wait? Will you wait with me? Sure, Liz. I'll wait with you. There's your traffic and weather on the fives. That's every, every ten minutes. Brought to you by the Consolidated Power Company. Stick around for old Kentucky home with Kate, helping you turn your humble home into the mansion. After this. But that's only if you make a late payment on a follow-up visit. I think everything went well enough here that they only want to be for... Oh, he's awake. How do you feel, old man? All fixed up? Shoe man says you might be a bit misty coming out of it. So, um... I was dreaming. That's unlikely. Never, never fall... Never known. 
TM is quite powerful. In fact, many patients report the sensation of lost time. Do you feel like you lost time? Uh, I guess so. It's been about two hours. Feel like I got some rest. Good. How about that leg? How's your leg feeling? Yeah, that's the important part. Conway shifts his leg a bit in the chair, testing it. Well, this isn't my leg. Not your. Of course, it's your leg. It looks wrong. You replaced it. Um, I haven't encountered this reaction before, but it's not totally unheard of. I read a paper about something like this last year. It can happen for a lot of reasons. Neurological, psychological, social. I'm sure it won't persist in your case. Your thoughts and feelings are probably still a little nebulous. From the original TM, that's totally normal. I, it will pass. I wouldn't recommend driving at least for another hour or two, regardless. Thank you, doctor. Sure, it's... Uh, let's talk about a few things you should be aware of. Recovery, rehabilitation, and side effects. How long am I going to be recovering? Well, at your age, I want to be clear, you should expect lingering effects on the injury for more or less than the rest of your life. Don't immerse it fully in water. Avoid streams of temperature. I say I stay away from dusty roads and mountain lions as much as possible. Mountain lions? Good advice in any context. Best thing you can do is keep it clean and free of debris. What do I clean it with? Only clean your leg with a sharp cloth, moisten it with water, or isoprofil or alcohol. You definitely want to avoid ab abrasive agents like detergents or other solvents. So, do you have any questions? Anything about the bill that didn't make sense, and I wouldn't interrupt you, but I have an early fishing trip. What are you fishing for? Uh, just out on the lake. Stripers, maybe? Got to keep those wrists and elbows limber, you know? <laughs> oh, one more thing. Don't be alarmed if you experience any side effects of the narrative no TM. Typically, we see daydreaming, deja vu, pensiveness, frequent states, irregular perceptions of time. About 50% of patients report a general, generalized sensation of lateness. Nothing to be alarmed about. Just keep it in mind. Thanks for your help. Julian's outside. We can head back to your truck. How are the drugs treating you? I don't like to take medicine. Nah, it's good for you. He's a doctor, right? I know what you mean, no. My force had a peculiar relationship with medicine. We almost never had a regular doctor, or health insurance, or anything like that. Our immigration stuff was a mess for most of my childhood, so we only qualified for state programs in small patches before something or other would get contested, and we learned to just pile on dentist's appointments and stop in those shop windows. If a cut got infected or her migraines were too much to handle, Mom would talk to so and so, who knew so and so, and usually another minor, and end up with some pills. And instead of medical advice, every pill came with gossip, with gossip and anecdotal warnings and superstitions, like all this law that came with, 
communicate with it like magic, dangerous, mysterious ever run into any problems? sure, yeah, staff will, staff will be inspired or mis misabled, mislabeled mom was allergic to penicillin as it turned out that was scary one time in high school, Weaver got these pills to help her focus. She was so smart, but always going out in different directions, my raising like five conversations going on in her head at once, and you're lucky if even one of them is with someone in the room, you know? So she had these pills, and they seemed to help. I was struggling in school too, failing my history class. She offered to share the pills. Did it help? At first, yeah, it helped a lot. I had a kind of presence and clarity of purpose that I've never really had otherwise. I didn't want to stop taking them. One day I was sitting on my bed. My notebook was open next to me on top of a textbook and I was holding a pen in my hand. I remember this moment from several years before. It came up so suddenly. With such precision, I couldn't put it out of my mind. I feel I had to stay with it until I recall the whole thing perfectly. I was just a, it was just a tiny nothing moment. My mom patched me up the side of a bird cage, winding some spare wire around the frame to reinforce it. It was fixated on that image and that sound. The cage kind of bending and twinkling as she worked on it, wrapping a nothing, strapping cover against pain like bowing a rubber violin with a rain roll tie. My parents came back from a triple ship and found me still sitting there on the edge of the bed, bent in my hand, delirious with thirst, patching that birdcage with a thousand yards there. You get some rest back there? I don't feel much rested myself. We will get a break, maybe tomorrow, huh? So, what's the plan here? We, sh we should try to get in touch with that clan. Yeah, okay. These files we got from the storage facility are all tied and stamped. There's a phone number. Oh, it's long distance. Weird. Well, we can head back to my workshop and use the phone there. My landlord has a pretty good phone plan. He's always calling home to go crazy. Sounds good to me. Okay, it's up north, remember? By the lake where Pe Peonia and Wasp meet. The just ancient sp sputters and dies as Conway guides it carefully up the road next to a fallen tree. Nothing to be done. Just one start up again. Damn, you had this truck long. I, I rather bought it used a ways back. I wonder how old it was then. Do you... Wait, is this why you always leave your truck running? Just superstitious. Right. Any other course I should know about? Seat belts. <laughs> I guess there's always two sides. Um. Anyway, do you know this area? 
and the one around here that could give us a hint. I drove past here yesterday. Oh, <laughs> what were you doing out here yesterday? But what was I doing out here yesterday? That's why I asked you. Maybe it was a dream. I dreamed that. Hey, we should call someone. Do you know a good towing company? Yep, Lucky Boot con Collisions and Towing. He is their car. Lucky Boot. Alright, I'll give them a call. I hope I can get a signal out there. Shannon spit into the launch bridge cell phone held up to her ear. Hi, he hello, we're gonna know. Um, I want to say, dear so. Oh, tr just start out. Just start out. Did, did I wake you? Your, your car says it's open 23 hours a day. We, yeah, we have a car. I mean, it, it's a truck. We are broken down by the side of the road. That's why I'm calling. No, it's okay. We just need to get to an auto stop, auto shop, and get this taken care of. Um, thanks for the offer, but we really not just need a towel, it's all. We, um, we already ate. As soon as you can get out here, we are up city five somewhere. Just kind of pulled up by this tree that fell over. That's actually a pretty accurate description of it yeah hanging over the power lines just like that did you see it go down ah uh, yes it doesn't matter well thanks again we'll see you soon then how long do you think you'll be H hello I think they're on their way. Guess we have some time to kill. <laughs> Very green face, green place to be stuck. I wonder what happened to to the tree. I mean, maybe it was just old. You know what used to happen to old trees, is, to old trees out in the forest. Wildfire could come through and clear them out. It made room for new trees. But then people build houses, and we can't have the fires going all the time. So we keep putting them out, and now we have all these old trees choking out of the, choking out the saplings, starving the young trees for resources, just clinging onto the life until, snap, and then some row crew comes by and blasts the stump with dynamite. Um, I think I'll take a look at that radio of yours. Maybe I can get it going again. No point just standing around. Are you bored? Sure, but I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind either. Let's play a game. What would you like to play? Um, we can tell the future with these little tree branches. It's pretty easy. We just break up all the little sticks on each session and count through the different things that could happen. Okay, what should we ask? It should be about you can do both the counting now and the questions. What kind of bed will I sleep in tonight? Ezra snapped the smaller branches away one at a time, counting out possibilities. King side, queen side, twin side, bunk. Bunk. Okay, what else? What kind of job will I have next? Doctor, lawyer, taskman, driver. Driver. 
these other branches are too bare. Don't worry about it too much, it's just a bunch of sticks. I wish Julian wasn't so busy right now. He's got a lot of houses to carry still. He can handle it on his own. How's it looking? Not nothing's been broken for years. How's it looking? The leaves are badly corroded, but I'm making progress. That's why I'm, I lie about working on electronics. It gets easier as you go on. Uh, you just you just get used to it. Almost there. 